Hello and welcome to Beer Bros. This Wednesday we're continuing with our top 10 beers of 2015. So, uh... Okay, Keith, so like I said, we're doing beers six through four today, I believe. Six, six seven, through six, five, four. four. Yeah, somewhere around there. We'll leave the top three for Friday. How about that? So six through four today on our top beers of 2015. So beer number six is a beer that we reviewed not so long ago. It's actually one that we reviewed earlier in December or uh, late November. Here is our, num our number six selection. Uh, the Milk Maid Stout from Cigar City Brewery. Go ahead. Our next beer is the Milk Maid White Milk Stout from Cigar City Brewing. Cigar City. One of our favorite breweries here on Beer. Cigar City, one of our favorite breweries here on Beer Bros. Yep. You notice anything different about this stout? Oh yeah, it's not a stout. It's not a typical stout. It's actually very, very clear for a stout. So it's uh, it's got a little bit of a light tan head, but it looks more of like a, a, a amber or a lager. Very sweet. Oh, it's getting a little bit of more of a fruity flavor. I'm getting a hint of chocolate, I think. Clinky drinky. Wow, that's good. Yeah, I still get the chocolatey notes. Yeah, but it's a little bit of a lighter chocolate. It's not like the dark chocolate from the malts that we got the other day. And there's also, like yeah, I said- It's almost a milk chocolate. Exactly, milk chocolate. So beer number five is a little bit interesting because there was a dual review on it. And I think both parties are in agreement that it was the top 10 beer of the year. So it kind of averaged out and it was okay. smack dab right in the middle, number five. Okay. So it was actually um, a vanilla Java Porter from Atwater, Atwater Brewery in Colorado. Ah, the beer babes. The beer babes. Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of Beer Babes. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Carly. So it looks like we have a vanilla Java Porter. See, that is the Atwater Brewing Company that we will be sampling today. Very yes. exciting. So it has this really nice dark color to it, and um, I think that is telling exactly how coffee tasting it's going to be. So I'm very excited yes, about this. Yes, I am very excited. I love coffee. So this is a wonderful beer for us to be trying. Excellent. You cannot see through this beer at all. No. It is very thick. It smells like beer. It smells like coffee. <laughs> it does not smell like vanilla. No, you're right, it doesn't. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Very coffee. Yes. Very coffee. This is the kind of beer that I could consume without thinking that I was consuming beer. Yes, this is a beer that I would almost drink on my way to work. Yes. Don't tell my employer. Right. So for our third beer of the week, we have... Vanilla Java Porter by Atwater Brewery in Detroit, Michigan, Motor City. Again, another beer we could have used last week for Automotive Week. That's cool. I got the sense that it's much more translucent than what we had on Wednesday. Why is there lipstick on this glass? It's oh, there's your copy. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yep. There's your there copy. There it is. Quinky. Quinky. Drinky. 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 Oh, there's the vanilla. Mm. You know, it, yeah. I don't get the coffee as much, at, if at all, mm. when I it's taste so, it. it. I taste a little bit of marshmallow. That would be the vanilla. Yeah, yeah the vanilla, and it's almost a marshmallow-ish. Yeah. Almost a roasted marshmallow mm -hmm. flavor. This I'm is sure really that good. has something to do with the uh, the vanilla and the roasted malt. It's just not beer that we experienced this year. We also had a lot of great guests on our show this year.
Hey, aren't you shot? The good witch. Yeah, that's me. Man, hey, how's it going, guys? Good, good. Definitely looking forward to this. Uh, Nate's running a little late, not sure where he is, so um, I guess if you uh, want to get started without me. Or Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Beer Bros. We have with us Professor Hans von Puppet. What Thank a guest! Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be here with you, Chris. All right, you want a quick beer review? Today I have Seven Tier Warlock. Pale Ale. Yep. Pale Ale. Pale Ale. Pale Ale. Pale Ale. Pale Ale. We've got with us the Alley Knight. He still doesn't let me go. So we're here at VidCon with Mark Gray, uh, who is an extraordinaire uh, director. Uh, what else do you do? I love it. I'm, a, I'm a director, I'm a cameraman, I'm an editor. I am. I may be involved in the Professor Puppet Met program Professor Puppet? from time to time. I've heard of that. I know I shouldn't have did this collaboration. I should have just stayed here at my bar by myself, doing my own little personal reviews, doing reviews with Miguel. You beer bros are bad news. Beer? Where since, do you get the beer? Since you're... Oh, you want to join us for a uh, half... Oh, hey, this is Mary Doodles. Yeah, it's a little funky. Oh. It's a little, um... Do you taste any bitterness toasty. to it? Toasty. It's Hoppy. quite toasty. There you go. That's what exactly what I... Beer babes. Beer babes. Out. <laughs> So Rar and Sons Oktoberfest. A little bit late in the season for an Oktoberfest, but just pick it up, trust us. Or wait till 2016 and try the next batch. Um, unless you have a time machine, then you just go back. Boom! Awesome! It's bigger on the inside. Your neck of the woods. Yes. Fort Worth's own Rar and Sons Oktoberfest Marzen style lager. I mean, it it's beyond auburn, I think. Yeah, and darker, it's yeah. yeah, it's a mm -hmm. uh, it's it's more of an orange color. With once me. again the tan head. No, it, yeah, it does have a, a burnt orange kind of color to it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, as soon as I said it, let's, right, let's give it a clinky, drinky, drinky. and cheers. Mmm. Much more pronounced, much more oh, it's sweet. of the Marzen that we're used to. Yeah, the the, the, the packs a little more punch, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. uh, compared but to the previous good. ones. Yeah, yeah, this is this is really a, a good solid beer. As it uh, was going towards the back of my palate, I, I taste a little more of the spices as, as it kind of warmed up. Once again, it has that sharpness, and the Marzen taste is just much more pronounced than we've had mm -hmm. this year with any of the U.S. or Texas beers. So that concludes our review of beers 6, 5, and 4. Tune in on Friday to find out our top three beers of 2015. All right. Until then, Beer Bros out.